Well, hi everybody here at LightroomKillerTips.com. My name is Scott Kelby from Kelby One, the most awesome place in the world to learn Lightroom. And today we're going to do a special request on adding a watermark when you export an image. So let's go export an image. You can click the little export button in the bottom left corner and it brings up the export window you see here. And if you scroll down, one of the choices, now it's sometimes hidden, so you might have to click the little flippy icon there, but there's watermarking. Now, by default, it's just going to stick when it, when it exports your image as a JPEG or TIFF or PSD, whatever you choose, it's going to just write your name, the name that you have <laughs> in your identity plate and your copyright. But instead, we're going to go here to edit watermarks, and that brings up the editing window you see here. Now, take a look. You have two styles that you can choose, either text, which is what you're seeing here, or you can add a graphic, which we'll do in just a moment. So let's start with text. Uh, one of the unfortunate things is the placement. It places it in the bottom left corner, but right up against the edges. I mean directly up against the edge. So you can change your position by using this little anchor. So in the bottom left corner here, uh, there is this anchor, and wherever you click, it's going to move your your watermark. You can't just drag it. You can't just go here and drag it where you want. You're going to use this anchor to kind of move around. All right. And there it is in the bottom left corner. Now, the good news is you don't have to be stuck against the side and the bottom like that. The inset sliders here allow you to drag and move these sliders and it moves the you can see it moves it the horizontal and vertical axis for you. Now, it brings up these little lines so you can kind of see where you're at. So that's kind of nice to just as a visual help. Those, of course, will not appear when you save the image, just your text. Also, if you were to move your text to the middle, sometimes it looks a little funky. That's because it has a drop shadow already applied to it. And actually, let's go ahead and change our text anyway. I want to get rid of, I want to make this easier to see. We'll just do it all caps. All right, and the default font, Myriad Web Pro. Let's go ahead and change the font if you like. Highlight your text, go up here to the font area, and let's change that too. There we go. So back to our drop shadow. You can see it has a drop shadow very clearly assigned to it. If you don't like the shadow, you can just click and just turn that off. Now, my text is in white, which looks fine when it's down here in the bottom left corner, but in the center, it's uh, a bit hard to see. So you can change your color by clicking on the little color chip right here. There you go. And you can control the size with the little size slider as well. So that's how you move it around using the anchor. You offset it using the two sliders, the uh, vertical and horizontal. And you can change the size using the size slider. You also have an opacity slider if you want to make it more subtle. And I'm hoping that you do. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's go up here to graphic and see what happens if you choose a graphic. If you choose a graphic, you get to choose your logo or whatever. Now, I'm specifically choosing mine with a transparent background. So I have a version of my logo that has no white behind it. If your logo has white behind it, it's gonna appear as a big white square. But in my case, I already had one with the transparent background. Let's go put the size where you want it. Same thing, even though it's not text, it uses all of the same rules. You move it around with the anchor, lower the opacity, and there's your watermark. Now, what you can do is go up to the left corner and save this as a new preset. So that way you don't have to bring up the watermark anymore. If you know that this is what you like, you could save this as SK logo. It will keep all of the uh, attributes. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. It'll keep all of the attributes intact for you. Click create and then hit done. So now when you go to the watermarking, you won't have just the simple copy uh, right watermark, you will also have this logo as a choice. So now when you export the file, it will export the file with your watermark firmly in place. So I hope you find that helpful. Hey, if you like Lightroom stuff, and I know you do because you just watched a Lightroom tutorial, here's what I would ask you to do. Head over to kelbyone.com and just take a look around because we are so focused on Lightroom. We publish our own magazine just for our membership. It's called, ready? Lightroom Magazine. But we also have over 50 full-length Lightroom courses from some of the leading 
Lightroom experts in the world. We put together the best instructors. Uh, I have a bunch of classes there, but we also have classes from awesome people like Matt Klaskowski and Serge Ramali, and even from like the Lightroom mobile product manager, Josh Haftel. And we have great training, great instructors. You will have a great time. You'll get great at Lightroom. You will say the word great often. It's awesome. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.